It doesn't interest me where or what or with whom you have studied. I want to know what sustains you from the inside when all else falls away. I want to know if you can be alone with yourself and if you truly like the company you keep in the empty moments. Out in training, out on the open road, it's in the empty moments that I get to make the choice in challenging myself. It's in the empty moments that I come to terms with who I am. It's in the empty moments that I believe in myself and then I take that onto the race course. It's me inside my head chasing down that finish line. Those empty moments lend to me achieving my goals. Coeur yeah, like that. I got up at like four in the morning to make you, to make you pancakes in. Such a good guy. <laughs> My name is Vanessa Forrester. I am a competitive long course triathlete, obsessive dog mom, most importantly, and I'm a mental endurance coach. I like to say that I've grown up everywhere and nowhere at the same time. I grew up kind of as a military brat and um, work and opportunities kind of led me out west. Really the mountains are what drew us out here. Feels like home now. Yeah, so I was a collegiate rower. My background, my first introduction to sport. I didn't grow up playing sports. I was a speech and debate nerd. And then when I went to college, I decided I wanted to do a sport. And when I finished rowing, I knew I wanted to continue being active. So I picked up running. And I decided to train for my first half marathon. And in the process of training for the first half marathon, I did a sprint triathlon. For no other reason than it seemed cool. I borrowed my dad's bike. I didn't know how to shift it, but I knew how to run. And that was my first introduction and it changed my life. Nicely done. I think what made me stick with it was the challenge of something different and the community. That there was this avenue of sport that I didn't even know was available. I loved the atmosphere, I loved the people, and I, I probably came in last that day, I have no idea, but it didn't matter, because I just had such an amazing time pushing myself. When I think about my journey to qualifying for Kona, I didn't have a series of podium finishes, and I set this impossible goal to win my age group. I had a strong belief that I didn't belong, that I wasn't good enough. I would come home with tears on my goggles, just really upset that I didn't think that I was ever going to be at their level. And then layered onto that, being a person of color and in an endurance sport in a place where I also didn't necessarily feel like I belonged. So I had to overcome that and recognize that part of being human is, you know, feeling disappointed sometimes and not hitting all of my intervals and not having the best workouts and not, not letting that be the thing that holds me back from continuing to try, continuing to go for it, continuing to show up for myself in a really powerful way. And once I realized that, then I could peel back the layers and create my own sense of belonging. Probably my second start line is when I realized I really saw the lack of diversity in triathlon. So we could talk all day about the barriers to sport. I think primarily accessibility, financial resources, um, and a lack of representation. Children of color would like look up to basketball players and football players as their you know, role models and they don't have that in triathlon. And what you don't see, you don't believe you can become. So that's part of what I'm doing, but that was also motivation behind creating the Diversify Triathlon movement, was to give more BIPOC athletes the opportunity to participate in the sport and see the sport and just have access to the sport. I think that the reason I have to do this and, and, and stand for more is because I, I see myself and I believe that I'm a thought leader. If I didn't do something, I really wouldn't be in authenticity with who I am.
When the sport is more diverse, it will absolutely change for the better. Any activity that we're a part of, sport or otherwise, should always be a reflection of the world around us for better perspective, and triathlon would definitely benefit from that. Looking back on my career in triathlon, I didn't really know that the power it would have to change my life. I just hopped into a sprint triathlon because it looked cool. And now that I've been in the sport and seen what it has done for me, I want everyone to have that opportunity. The way that endurance sport can change the world is it brings people closer to who they were always meant to be.